throw. He's going to put one out here to his running back. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Seven yards on the play, and that'll lead here to a third down. Boy, you can't understand the goddamn thing, can you? Nope. Let's get that weird font. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Had a chance to maybe I thought it was going to be talking about some I'm coming back stronger in football. Man, I ain't even talking about football. You got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defense is just say, okay, new set of downs. Get Did he catch that? Make a play ourselves oh, my God. Things up. I just bombed this fucking ball, son. But it winds up incomplete. Don't worry. You'll lose no less. Nah, I'm... I've switched the way I play now. I was playing like really, like I wasn't attacking. Like I was getting, it, I was doing enough to win, and trying to eat clock. Like that's what I started doing like the last couple games, and it it wasn't working, cause it fucked me up when I did have to like come back and shit. Man, I kept throwing to the same spot on the field. Like I, I would, I was getting really habitable about throwing like over the middle passes. There's my touchdown. Devin Funches, 28 yards, and the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. Graham Gano on for the extra point. This man think I'm going for two? Gano the extra point. Got a score like that, homie. Seven nothing game. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll run it for the first time with Alvin Kamara. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Here we go. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. On second down, here's Breeze. He's got Smith here. And now a fumble. The ball's out. And the Panthers have recovered. Well, he did what he's known for. He made the catch, then he turned into a runner, took the contact, and coughed it up. And all I remember as a player, when they catch the ball, when those acrobatic guys catch it, you have to make them pay sometimes. You have to put it on them, big tackle, knock the ball free. Anything you can do to slow them down. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Greg Olson, 33 yards. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Gano now to add the extra point. Extra point try, good by Gano. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Gano out to kick this one away. Yeah. 
The Saints offense now. They get ready to head back onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Breeze now on first down. And it's hauled in by Ben Watson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past Sammy, the 50. Sammy. And that one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Yeah, on first down, Breeze. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Mario Addison in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. The play fake to Ingram. Now it's Breeze. On the crossing route, complete. That's Watson. The reception good for seven. It's third down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. in the tight end and he'll be brought down it looks like right at the 40 it'll be a gain of eight but it also lead to a fourth down so much about offense is what you call hidden yardage you know you, you throw the ball to someone they catch it and then they can make a big play you know they create a play run after catch they did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down yeah stopped him in his tracks this is Ingram on first and ten Finding room to the 20. And a cut to the sideline. Touchdown, New Orleans! Mark Ingram, 32 yards. And the Saints are back within a score. And they're able to run it in. It started with a battle in the trenches. They won there, and they got in for six points. And that's going to be a tough one for the defense to deal with. They've got to go to the bench now and figure out how are we going to slow down this running game because on that particular play, they had no answer. That'll be taken in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line, brought down there. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. Newton on first down. Staying on his feet. Fighting him off. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because they'll have all that time. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Tyler Davison 
Continuing to fight downfield. The big tackle gets him for a loss of 11. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Back to throw, Newton. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. Samuel the one he was looking for and it's third down just his second incompletion so far he's eight for ten I think he'll take 80 percent there's no doubt that he will but if you're the defensive play caller you better circle what you just dialed up on your play sheet and come back to it because you just caused an incompletion you need a few more of those now it's Newton flush to his right he's gonna run but he's got a long way to go He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Now the Saints, they trot their offense out here. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. They go play action for Ingram. Now Breeze finds his man. Watson over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Bree's going to come up here first and 10. And he's completed all seven of his passes thus far. From the gun, it's Breeze. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowl of Luke Kinkley that picks it. And a potential turning point as he'll get the football in very good field position late in this first half. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and ten. Interception. Here's Newton. He's going to let this one. That's caught inside the 20. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, coach. Appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Throwing on first down is Breeze. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Mario Addison in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now Breeze. 
And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Breeze now to throw. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 29 yards on third down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Hey, break it down, fellas. Break it down. 12. Breeze to throw on second down. Over the middle complete. That's Watson. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Breeze hands to Ingram. Working his way for a gain of seven to the 26. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing his will. They run. It's Mark Ingram. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Camara, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Tackle made by Thomas Davis. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage, as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage, because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. And that's going to be incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Breeze now. And this is going to be incomplete. The all-pro linebacker Luke Keekley right there on the coverage, stride for stride. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. You sound like you're going negative on me. I was. Partner. I was. It sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. The Panthers offense now. They head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and ten at the 31-yard line. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, 
you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat okay. sheet as well. To throw on second down is Newton. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Back now here live in New Orleans. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Second down, here's Newton. They'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give him a new set of downs. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Now Newton on first down. A quick hitch complete. It's Smith. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Newton finding Funches for the Panther first down. Newton will bring him up first and 10, and he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. <laughs> Throwing again is Newton. A quick hitter complete. It's Smith. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. They'll run it now out of the gun. And that winds up a decent run. And it also takes us to the two-minute warning. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And he fires one, but incomplete. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe he didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. Yeah, fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch. Is the arm there? Are the legs still there? This has been a tough game. And Gano's kick is right through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. But from a defensive perspective, though, I think maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember... Ingram churning. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. So they've got the football, and they'll start right on the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean... Let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on, and that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Let's go, let's go! Newton's going to throw it. 
He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. The strong windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score game. And Gano's kick is right through. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20-10. to 10. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. The Saints coming out now to take the field. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two-score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again, but they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring quickly, then they'll take it from there. Now Breeze. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. The Saints in the hurry up here. Clock continuing to roll. Breeze to throw. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 15 yards through the air and a first down. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Back to throw Breeze. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Julius Peppers. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. To throw his breeze. Caught on the left side by Gim. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The Saints on third down. Just one for three thus far. This will be third and six. Now Breeze. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. On first and 10, here's Breeze. James Bradbury, he was right there to break it up. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. So line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Bree's going to throw. And Watson has it right side. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. Whether it's a touchdown or a field goal, whatever it is, they need to score quickly here on first down. They go play action here on first down. And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. 
So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. This will be caught inside the ten. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. And a timeout coming in. This will be their final one with ten seconds remaining. Tip there, altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. They'll look to run with Ingram. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? One final try here for Breeze. And this is going to be caught. It's caught. And they've won the football game doesn't affect the outcome but hey nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play could it affect other things sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time then later on we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker yeah or of course in the fantasy football world these points mean a lot a lot there a little surprising they wouldn't go for two but this is up and good and the lead is down to a field goal well, partner, still a head-scratcher to me how this one ended, down three. I just thought, you know, no matter the situation, you're in a spot where you can kick that field goal, go to overtime, why not do it? And this is where I think the analytics guys are going to continue to get more and more traction in the league. You know, we've talked about different people now saying, I need a game management coach, someone in the booth 